This is Dinner Date, the show where people hope to find true love through their love of good food. Hopefully it's going to be big, muscly and have a six pack. One lucky person will be getting the chance to find romance as they enjoy three very special meals cut for them by three very special blind dates. I'm feeling really excited. I'm hoping that he's going to be, going to be quite an exciting guy. Today's dinner date is 22-year-old recruitment consultant and pole dancing teacher, Abby, from Cardiff. She's an energetic soul. With pole dancing, I like getting lost in the music and just expressing yourself, and the world's a much more exciting place upside down. Abby's been single for six months. What sort of man would turn her world on its head? I like a guy who's quite big and muscly. I think it's nice to have a guy who can put his arm around you and look after you and feel quite safe ears are quite a central part of the body, so if somebody's got really nice ears, I actually kind of notice ears. Area. That's what she wants in a date, but what does she like on her plate? I wouldn't describe myself as a good cook. I like foods that are meat heavy. I'm quite big on cheese sauce as well, so with a roast I'll often have gravy and cheese sauce. I really like stuff where you eat with your hands and you get really messy. I will eat with cutlery on the dates, don't worry, I'm not gonna <laughs> just be covered in sauce. So she doesn't mind getting sticky fingers. Abby's going to be given five menus, each put together by a potential blind date. The five men behind the menus have all come up with a three-course meal, but Abby will only be having dinner with three of them. She'll choose her date based on the menu she most likes the look of. So, who are the men behind the menus? Menu one. I like the jokes that don't make you laugh, they make you cringe. Like, uh, I told my doctor I broke my arm in two places. He told me to stop going to those places. Menu one comes from 25-year-old personal trainer Mike from Swindon. Will his healthy menu of goat cheese salad, teriyaki pork mane and fruity dessert make Abby want to work out with him? Beat my personal best, goat cheese and beetroot salad. I'm not too sure about goat cheese. I've never really tried it, but I do really like beetroot. Main course, absolutely gorgeous. Teriyaki pork with steamed vegetables and sweet potato mash. Hopefully it's gonna be big, muscly, and um, <laughs> have a six pack. Absolutely gorgeous. Give us a peck if you're feeling fruity. Exotic food with dipping chocolate. Okay, so he's maybe a bit flirty as well. I think every girl loves chocolate. Menu two. I have tried ironing my shirt while it's been on me. So I've essentially got the iron, gone down like that until I realised how incredibly hot it was before running off and running my shoulder under the tap. 21-year-old sports student Jack from Wiltshire is behind menu two. There's a cheesy starter, spicy chicken mane and strawberry cheesecake pud, but will Abby think his menu is scrumptious? I'm a cherry nice guy. Cherry tomato and mozzarella salad, pan-seared chorizo and asparagus wrapped in parma ham. I'm not actually that keen on cherry tomatoes. Dessert. Honestly, I'm a very nice guy. Strawberry cheesecake and vanilla gelato. Not ever so keen on cheesecake, but I really like the biscuit base, so, you know, I can just eat that bit, it's fine. And he must be a, a very nice guy. He's trying to tell me it three times. Fab. Menu three. For some reason, I decided I wanted to move a flat screen TV. It landed square on my head, I broke the screen and gave myself a concussion. Menu three comes from 29-year-old door-to-door salesman Orion from Bristol. It's got a fish cake starter, chicken pasta main and a jelly and ice cream pud, but will it have Abby knocking on his door? It takes two to mango, salmon fish cakes with mango dipping sauce. I really like mango, I really like fish cakes, dessert, two-tone jelly and ice cream. Yeah, I'm not very impressed with that, really. Could have at least gone with a trifle or something. Menu four. I've got lucky pants, yeah, yeah, uh, pink and white. Yeah, I've had them on a couple of dates and every time I've converted, so... <laughs> you know what I mean by convert, right? The fourth menu comes from 21-year-old media advertising account manager Elliot from Bristol. There's posh bruschetta, steak for heaters and whiskey cake with caramel sauce. But will it be enough to convert Abby? It doesn't get much better. Homemade pesto, parma ham, tomato and mozzarella bruschetta. Ooh, homemade pesto. It's going out to impress. That sounds really nice. 
Dessert, the whiskey to my heart. Whiskey cake with caramel sauce and Chantilly cream. I'm not normally a big fan of whiskey, but I do like his little puns on there. So, on to our last one, menu five. I like my accent. I don't think I'm too ooh-ah. I think I can be posh at times. Ooh-ah, are all right there, my lover? <laughs> The fifth and final menu is from 32-year-old transport manager and cider drinker Joe from Cheltenham. Will the salmon starter, boozy chicken mane and an eaten mess put be a decider for Abby? With love from me to bring, wet your whistle with my homemade cider selection. OK, I do like cider, but maybe he's trying to get me drunk, I don't know. Starter, don't pick salmon else. Hot smoked salmon with posh parmesan crisps and lemon pepper cream. That sounds delightful. Thumbs on crisps must be great. Let's get messy eating mess. We probably will be quite messy by the time we've drunk all that cider, so I don't even think he needs to put that on there. But yeah, no, I like the sound of this guy. Abby's seen all five menus on offer, but which three have taken a fancy? So I've decided on my menus. I think I'm gonna go with menu number one, menu number four, and menu number five. Fingers crossed. So, Abby's gone for menu one from Mike, menu four from Elliot, and menu five from Joe. Over the next three nights, Abby will meet each of the men behind the menu she's chosen. They'll all be making her a slap-up three-course meal, but who will she want to see for seconds at the end of the week? First to cook for Abby is personal trainer and bodybuilder Mike from Swindon. The joy of cooking has kind of been lost on me just because I eat seven, maybe sometimes as much as eight meals a day. But in the world of bodybuilding, that's the norm. Mike has been single for six months, but who would he like to flex his muscles with? Physically, well, Kate Middleton's a beautiful woman and I think my mum would be happy to meet her. Well, Abby's a right royal laugh. Let's hope that'll do. When she saw his menu, Abby thought Mike sounded a bit flirty, but was excited by the pod because every girl loves chocolate. Abby hoped Mike would have a six-pack, but will she think he and his pork are absolutely delicious tonight? First up for the six-pack from Swindon, the exotic fruit pud. That'd be my bit, then. There's not a lot of cooking involved, it's more chopping. This will probably be my meal number six when she gets here, and depending on when she leaves, i will probably have another meal while she's still here. No, he doesn't mean breakfast. He's talking about his rigorous regime. My training's never got in the way of dating, but uh, I remember going on holiday with an ex. I got told off for using the gym while we were on holiday. But if I don't look like a personal trainer, people aren't going to come to me. It's going to affect my business. I need to look the part. To keep his gums smoking, Mike's very conscious of his diet. This dessert is something that generally I would have on my own. I wouldn't have it with the chocolate. I'd just probably have it with some fat-free yoghurt or something like that. Well, don't skimp on that chocolate. Abby will have your portion. Next, the goat's cheese salad starter. And again, not so much cooking as chopping. I'll tell you what, if I do all this and she doesn't even eat it all, she can go home. You need steady on. Not everyone can stomach seven meals a day. Because I eat so often, I don't eat to enjoy the food. I just eat to get it down my neck and get out. So I probably eat a little bit quick. I sort of have to remind myself I'm on a first date. Yeah, you can't hurry, love. Mike adds cherry tomatoes to packet salad and chops up some feta. Feta is a sheep's cheese, not a goat's cheese, but hopefully Abby won't notice. There's no way I'd cook something like this for myself. Not sure you've cooked anything yet, Mike, but do continue. I think that one looks nicer. I'll give that one to her. I'll have that one. Oh, what a gent. So what sort of woman is he expecting tonight? I'm hoping when I open the door, a recent supermodel stood there, fall into my arms. Oh, my God, Mike. I've been waiting for you my whole life. Aiming for a personal best, then. On to the main. The pork loins have been flexing in shop-bought teriyaki sauce. I'm a fan of teriyaki and I'm a fan of pork, but it's a bit messy, but hopefully this will be nice. Don't fret. Abby loves getting her hands dirty. Mike will cook the steaks when his date arrives. Right. Well, that's all I can do for now. I'm off to go get ready. Time for Mike to hit the showers. Abby is on her way. I'm hoping for quite a hunky guy hinted about the gym on his menu, so fingers crossed he's got some muscle, but also not that he takes himself too seriously. I don't want him to not be having the chocolate dipping sauce at the end because it goes against his diet. I'm not too concerned about the food now, now that I've got everything mostly prepped and ready. If she doesn't like it, tough. 
In an ideal world, it would just be someone roughly my age, slightly older, and got a lovely personality. That's what I'm hoping for. Well, Abby's day with Mike turned out to be a terrible mistake. Hi. Hi. I'm Steve. Abby. I'm Mike. Or will she think he's tasty and Swindon's finest beefcake? <laughs>
If I picked chicken and steamed veg, I think you'd have got too bored. So I thought I'd go with something different. Pork with steamed veg. As they took in, turns out wrestling isn't their only shared passion. So's travel. I went into Ireland a couple of years ago, and then I've been to, like, Egypt and Turkey. So the pyramids That's and everything? Right, really. No, I didn't go see the pyramids. I went on a hot air balloon, saw the pyramids in the distance. <laughs> There's little pointy things picture. down there, there they are. Yeah, that thing that looks like sand. How about you? Are you well-travelled? I'm probably not as, as well-travelled as you, actually. Mm -hmm. One of my dreams is to be able to wrestle in Japan. Sumo wrestling is like Japanese, isn't it? Not quite big enough Have for that. Have you got a pair of pants that's like a thong for that, or...? I could wear my bodybuilding <laughs> posing trunks for you. Oh, let's keep them under wraps for now, shall we? No, this is actually really nice. I believe did you, you make, as well. Did you make this all yourself? Yeah. That was really nice. I'm sorry I couldn't finish it. That's all right, no problem. I'll eat all your chocolate dipping sauce. I promise. <laughs> the final course is Mike's exotic fruit with the chalky dipping sauce. Thank you. I'm really conscious that I shouldn't be eating chocolate. I wasn't even going to do chocolate. I was just going to do fruit and yoghurt. They get stuck in and Mike's keen to find out more. So what else don't I know about you? I pole dance. That's where your guns came from, then. Mm. You kept that quiet from me. You showed me your guns, but yeah. you didn't tell me why. Yeah. yeah. It all makes sense now. So, I teach a class now, but I teach a sexy pole class rather than a fitness pole class. Mm-hmm. Because I think that's more fun. Well, it sounds fun. Perhaps she'll give him a demonstration sometime. Just not tonight, because dinner is over and the date is two. Thank you for a lovely evening. Thank you for your time. Nice to meet you, darling. And you, I'll speak to you. What did Abby make of her first date? Yeah, he was a really nice guy. We differed slightly. Obviously, he's massively into his fitness, but he's a little bit serious with it. Like, obviously, he didn't really eat much of the chocolate, whereas I was, like, having the chocolate. I didn't fancy him. I didn't know there just wasn't that spark, but... Yeah, I think he was lovely. The evening was fun. It was, uh, it was a new experience for me. I may sound rude in, in saying that, but pole dancer might be the kind of girl you brag to your friends about, but it's not the kind of girl that you take home to meet the family. Abby will be the one who decides which of her dates to take out at the end of the week, but which of them will want to go out with her. All three dates will be scoring her out of a possible three stars. So, how did Mike rate his date? For this evening's date, I give Abby uh, one star. Um, not to take away anything from her personality. She's lovely. We just didn't click. I don't see any long-term prospects for a relationship. Just one star for Abby from Mike. He thought she was pretty, but there'll be no romancing because Mummy might not approve of Abby's pole dancing. She call me Mr. Bombastic. Another day, another dinner date. And this time it's the turn of account manager Elliot from Bristol. If I'm on a night out and I go up to a girl, I go, is your name Manchester? Because we should be united. Without fail, from then on, that girl is mine. Well, he's quite the charmer. But what does it take to charm him? I'm not that fussy. I do like a girl with a nice bum. Yeah, nice peachy bum. I don't mind that. Yeah, I can be romantic, yeah, definitely. Definitely in the bedroom. Mm. We're sticking firmly to the kitchen. When she saw his menu, Abby said she wasn't a fan of whiskey, but she liked Elliot's puns and thought he was going all out to impress. Will they be united tonight? <laughs> Elliot begins with the salsa for his fajita main. Never made this before. This is all new to me. Yeah, cooking is not my speciality. Well, it's not Abby's either, so don't panic. Turns out Cheeky Elliot has a lucky charm. This is a lucky hat, actually, yeah. It's going to be even luckier after tonight. Just concentrate on cooking for now. Cool. Next, under the knife, coriander. Probably that right, isn't it? A quick mix and a squeeze of lime, and the salsa's done. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> Next, guacamole. Didn't mind my brunettes, didn't mind the blondes. I like a nice tall woman. Someone that can understand that my cooking is very poor. And just in case Elliot's silver tongue falls short, he's pre-booked some evening entertainment. Yeah, got one of the mates, he's quite a good guitarist, bringing his mate along, and they're gonna do like a bit of a duet, and hopefully she'll like it. Hopefully she won't prefer one of your friends. Elliot adds tomatoes and onion to the avocado. Cool, that's done, I guess. Whack it in the fridge. 
He'll cook the fajita main when his date arrives. For now, it's onto the whiskey cake pud, which, it turns out, is something of a cheat. This cake was made last night. My mum is um, a very good baker. This is supposed to be your date, not your mum's. A shot of whiskey and one for Elliot, too. Hmm, beautiful. Finally, Elliot compiles his bruschetta starter. Mozzarella, tomato and pesto. From a jar, of course. I'm more nervous about the food. I'm just really, really not an amazing chef. Hopefully, I can just pull it off by being myself and talking. Because I'm a charmer. I charm, I charm the girls, you know? That's what it's all about. That's all I can be doing for now. I think it's time to, uh, yeah, get ready, I guess. Hats off to him. He's finished just in time. Abby's on her way. I'm feeling really excited today. Yeah, I'm hoping that he's going to be going to be quite an exciting guy. Due to the Mexican theme, I've bought him a sombrero. <laughs> yeah, I've been a compliment. I'm hoping that she's going to be exciting. I'm hoping that she's going to, um, yeah, find me attractive and uh, it all goes to plan. So, Hi. how are you doing? You nice okay? To meet you. Nice to meet you. You okay? Abby. Come on. Abby, Elliot, Thank by the way. This is lovely. Nice sort of setting, isn't it? Very nice. As Elliot pops his cork, Woo! he's noticed Abby hasn't come empty handed. Nice hat, by the way. This is a present for you. Oh, lovely jubbly. Have one of those. Shall I wear it? Yeah, you of course you've got to wear it. What, all, all night, all day, yeah? Well, until it gets really annoying. <laughs> It's funny you brought a hat because I actually wore a hat whilst preparing the meal, but it was like a summer hat. Hold it right there, Romeo. We know where this is going. How old are you? 22. Do you mind the younger sort of people? <laughs> no, I don't mind young people. You seem quite mature anyway, so... That's what a lot of people say, I guess. We'll see after a few drinks. Yeah, you I drinking know. drinking red wine? Um, and I've had a bit of whiskey as well. Are we having whiskey cake? There's some whiskey cake. I was gonna, that would have been really bad if that was somebody else's menu then. I was like, oh, <laughs> awkward. No, not someone else's menu, just somebody else's cake. So what do they make of each other so far? I like him. Not my usual type, like, looks-wise, but, yeah, I think he seems like quite a laugh. I think I could fancy him. Definitely if he gives me a bit more Prosecco anyway. <laughs> She's got you know, blonde hair and I don't mind the, the blondes and all that. It's a nice, slim sort of body. She's right up my street, I guess. Will Elliot win Abby's heart really rather deviously? This looks lovely. By pretending that he's baked a cake his mother made him previously. Charles. Recruitment consultant and pole dancing teacher Abby is going for three blind dates and each date is making a dinner. She's already dined with personal trainer Mike and right now she's with account manager Elliot. Woo! Elliot's just dished up the bruschetta starter. Oh my god, I was just remembered. Did you make the pesto yourself? Fess up, Elliot. Uh, the pesto? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Was actually not made by myself, no. Oh, no it was, uh... Definitely not picking you now. Oh, really? Wait till she finds out his mum made pod. Wow. Mm. So elegant. I mean, yeah, yellow. Yeah, they tuck in, and Abby gets straight down to the nitty gritty. Would you rather, for the rest of your life, you were itchy or you were sticky? <laughs> <laughs> what? What sort of question is that? I think I'd rather be sticky. Why? You can 
put certain products on you that could make you non-sticky. It's you can do that with itchy though. Itchy's like within you, isn't it? It's like within your skin. I think so I'd go sk can. sticky too. I'm just trying to yeah. force you to justify yourself. <laughs> you can tell a lot about a person from the answer to a would you rather question. True. I guess I'm going the right way to start with because you both picked sticky. So you're enjoying the food? I yeah. am. You're loving it? Yeah. A good start. Time to see how good he is at actually cooking something. Mexican fajitas. Elliot mixes his steak with veggies and packet spice mix. What's your favourite type of food? Fajitas, obviously. That's why I cook them. And Abby's getting involved, or trying to. I think that's quite good. I'm going to show you how to wrap professionally. Stop insulting my work. Cool, let's do it. The steak fajita main course is served. I'm going to get messy. I'm no joke, literally. Got another napkin. Mm. I've got this one Maybe here. Maybe you should wear it like a bib. Maybe I should, because I know this is going to get uber messy. Well, she did say she likes to eat with her hands. The guacamole is good. Yeah? You mm. loving life? I would have no idea how to make guacamole. Mm. I would just, like, smash up some avocado and mm. hope for the best. That's pretty much what Elliot did. My mum is, like, quite a good cook. She bakes for weddings and stuff. And blind dates. Did you ring her for advice? Yeah, I literally did. No <laughs> joke. She ended up... Is she hiding, like, in a cupboard somewhere? She literally... She's like, going to pop out. <laughs> yeah, literally. I'm impressed. I once went to the Ritz for afternoon tea. Yeah. It was just like... What do you do with myself in here? Yeah, I don't even like tea. Blimey. Yeah. I was going to so make you some tea in the morning as well. <laughs> Yeah. Cheeky. That's confidence for you. Time for Elliot's mum's whiskey cake pud with a drizzle of cream and a measure of whiskey. Dessert is served. Wow. Cool. Thank you. It's all right. No so problem. did you make this today? Mm. Elliot. Well, in fact, I made this last night and then uh, mm, did a few touches here and there. So, mm. yeah. Nice. It's all right. Not too bad. I'm impressed with you. But yeah, do you usually bake any cakes or anything? I tend to watch people bake rather than doing it myself. I don't know if Elliot even watched. It tastes like whiskey, you know. I can't taste it. Can you not? Mm. Shall I try this? Yeah, have a little swig. Are you a fan of the whiskey, though? No. No. Don't drink if you don't want it. You got some wine there. So. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. <laughs> it's probably a bit more of an acquired taste for it, basically. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. But I'm gonna stick with my wine, I think, if you don't mind. Wine? I'll do it. It's fine. No problem at all. So I've got a little surprise for the night. So yeah, yeah let's head down to the garden. Okay, I'm excited. Thank right. you. No worries. Elliot left pudding to his mum and now he's leaving the romance to his mates. <laughs> it's oh, this is adorable. No problem at all. Cheers. Chin chin. Now I'm thinking about how people fall in right. love in mysterious ways. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Maybe just a touch of a hand. So honey, now how? Yeah. 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 Woo! Yeah. Take me into your loving arms. Take it all off. All right. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Well done, mate. That's really that good. That was really good. Wow, that was Thank you. The musical interlude is over, and the date is too. I've oh, genuinely had such yeah. a good time. No problem at all. Right. Thank you, darling. No problem. It's fine. So what did Abby make of her second date? I've had such a good time tonight, genuinely. It was so nice, just the entertainment at the end, like, completely unexpected. It's just adorable. He clearly went to a lot of effort. I wouldn't say I fancy him just yet. I'm slightly concerned that I may fancy the singer. <laughs> she was banter, she was really good fun. I did tell a few porkies about the dessert, but my mum did a great job. I hope the uh, serenade gave her, you know, gave her the wow factor and she, you know, found it entertaining. How did Elliot rate his date? My date with Abby this evening was really enjoyable. She didn't bring a bottle of champagne or, or a bottle of wine on entry. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to give Abby a two. That's two stars for Abby from Elliot. When it comes to being charming, he likes to go full throttle, but he took off a star because she didn't bring a bottle. Next day, and it's Abby's third and final date with transport manager Joe from Cheltenham. He makes his own cider, you know. Cider is important in my life because it's something I've created from nothing. 
To share that passion with someone would be amazing. Ladies love the cider. So, what sort of girl would Joe like to meet for a spot of scrumpy pumpy? I've been out with doctors, farmers, models, lap dancers. Be looking for someone who's got a bit of all those traits. Would a pole dancing recruitment consultant do you? When she saw his menu, Abby said the salmon sounded delightful. But will she think he's the apple of her eye? And will there be love inside her tonight? To the top Joe kicks off with his chicken cider main course. He fries onions in butter. This is a massive test for me. I very rarely cook. In fact, if the worst comes to the worst, it could be the takeaway. <laughs> Next, he chucks in some chicken pieces, and it's time to start the party early with his pride and joy. This is what we're going to cook the chicken with. Made with my fine hands, pressed with my fine hands, and picked with my fine hands. Sounds like he's good with his hands. Look at that. That is absolutely beautifully clear. Better test it, Joe. I tell you what, this is going down a treat. She better get a move on, otherwise it's going to be gone. He certainly loves the apple tipple. What sort of woman would he find appealing? If she doesn't like cider, then we might have an issue, but if she's got chat and she looks good, then, then I think, like, cider's just a secondary. Next to go in is bacon and then some good old English apples. I think whilst those apples are softening, it'd be rude not to have another cider. Time to add the good stuff. What a waste. <laughs> one for the chicken, one for the chef. That's the chicken, then. Next up, the parmesan crisps for the starter. Joe adds flour to grated parmesan and pops them under the grill. Onto the roast potatoes. Oh, no. Oh, it's like picking apples. Cool, blimey, he's obsessed. A quick wash and they're ready for roasting. Joe will make his starter and dessert when his date arrives. One last check that the cider's doing its job. It's looking good. Time to get ready. Pip, pip, cider, Joe. Abby's on her way. I'm feeling excited. I remember that he had cider in a lot of his courses, and I think he brewed his own cider. So hopefully it'll be quite strong cider. Um, I'm having someone with a bit of chat so we can have a laugh. I'm, I'm up for a good laugh tonight. Hi. Hi, nice to you? meet you. Hi, Joe. Abby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Joe. From your menu, I so figure you like cider, so I yeah. got you a giant pint glass to put your cider in. That is very kind of you. <laughs> and it's a card for you as well. Oh, thanks. So, do you like cider? I love so it. So, a winner then. Yeah. So, you brew your own? I make my own cider. Um, and I also organise a cider festival. OK. The UK's biggest. Oh, really? Well. All right, my lover. I'm looking forward to tasting some of your special brew. Lots of love. Dinner date, Abby. Thanks. <laughs> and speaking of special brew... And this, this is the fruits of it. All the, all the apples are picked by my hands. Um, crushed by my hands, so it's blood, sweat, and tears. Feet, as or is that, that grapes that they do with their feet? Yeah, that's grapes <laughs> with the feet. Yeah, so do you want to? Yeah, try some? try some. Let's go for the cloudy one. Okay. Yeah. I'm happy with that choice. Is this stronger than normal cider? Am I going to be drunk? Um, seven percent. Seven percent. So yeah. I will. Good. Let's go. <laughs> cheers. Yeah, I'm cheers. excited. This is the cloudy. So. That's really nice. Of course it is. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> right, <Yeah>. cocky. Yeah. <laughs> One down, three to go. I'm so sorry there's not much of it. I just got a bit carried away Are drinking drunk? it earlier. I was a little bit tipsy earlier. <laughs> yeah, you won't be the only one after a couple of these. Drink, drink, it's nice. Dry, yeah. yeah, very dry, but nice. Third one. It kind of tastes a bit like, almost like a perry. Rather than a cider. It's nice day. Mm. Last but not least, cheers. cheers. Yeah, that's my favourite one. Oh, I almost saw your little pinky then coming out. Yeah, I'm going to be a cider connoisseur by the time the night's out. Mm. So they both liked the cider, but what do they make of each other? 
like the fact he breathes his own cider. I think that's really quirky. I may have misjudged his enthusiasm for cider as a general enthusiasm for being drunk. He's probably into, like, appreciating the flavour, whereas I went down the, here's a giant pike glass <laughs> route. Present. If I filled up full of cider, I think I'd be asleep right now. <laughs> My first impressions. It's nice. It's got chat. She gave me some nice compliments for the cider, so, yeah, thumbs up so far. A promising start. Joe layers lemon creme fraiche, fennel and salmon onto his parmesan crisps. The starter is served. Looks amazing. Do I go with fingers or do I go on. knives and forks? Use your fingers. I'm thinking fingers, yeah. yeah I'm happy you said yeah. that. That was really good. Really good. I am a little bit shocked for a <laughs> Oh, my God, that's actually nice. I made that. What's your favourite food to eat when you go out? Steak. Steak. Yeah. Well, meat. Yeah. Any meat is good, yeah. What about yeah. you? What do you like to eat? I like steak. Not chicken and cider. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chicken and cider, definitely. Yeah. And I love Parmesan crisps, where you, like, top them with smoked salmon and stuff. They're mm. really great too. That's a definite winner. I'm definitely going to be making that again. <laughs> Are we changing cider for main course? We go dry for the main course and then yeah. we go sweeter for the pudding. OK, makes sense. Yeah. Not sure anyone needs more cider, but it's time for the chicken in homebrewed cider, served with beans and roast potatoes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This looks amazing, by the way. Well, Thank you. see what it tastes like first. Do you have any interesting hobbies? I do climbing. I go to gym, I climb, climb indoors, climb outdoors. I used to play rugby. Okay. And I'm now a rugby referee. All right. Yeah. And um, I quite enjoy being called Sir on a Saturday. <laughs> quite <laughs> on a nice. Saturday afternoon, yeah. So, what about you? What keeps you busy? My main hobby, I suppose, I pole dance. Oh, nice. So, you've got strong thighs and arms. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Arms in particular, like. Yeah. Yeah, you'd probably be quite good at it, actually, with your climbing. No, I think I'm OK for that. <laughs> <laughs> so have you got your own pole? I do have my own pole. Do you have several poles? <laughs> <laughs> no, I only have the one. Yeah. I don't have room for several. It's quite good if you have, like, a party or prudence or whatever, like, people like to have a go. Yeah. But has tonight put Joe in pole position? Time for the eat a mess, but Joe hasn't made it yet, so Abby lends a hand. I'll get involved. Get crushing. Use those, um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could sit on them. I could or, sit on them. Or you could get your amazing what shoes out. What are you trying out. to say? <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. I think it's nice. Mm -hmm. Mixed perfectly, if I do say so myself. Absolutely. What's your favourite fruit? Is it strawberries? Apples, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Then strawberries. Then strawberries. Mm. I actually really don't like apples. Do you? No. I always have an apple a day. Always. Really? Yeah. In liquid form, Joe? I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it, but it was really nice. Mm. And I'm very impressed with your home brewed cider. Bet she finishes that off, though. Pint of water before bed, young lady. Dessert's done, and the date is too. Thank you for a lovely evening, Joe. Good very night. nice to meet you. Yeah. And you. Bye-bye. Now time for the decider. What did Abby make of her third and final date? Tonight has been good. The drink has been flowing. I've enjoyed that. The food was lovely. The starter, in particular, was amazing. But I wouldn't say there was any, you know, kind of instinctive, romantic spark there. No. I was nervous about the food, but I, I was pleased that it went. I think my date enjoyed her food, so that's a tick in the box. Is she my type of girl? Probably not, but it's early days. How will Joe rate his date? For my date with Abby tonight, I'd like to give her two stars. She's been a good compliment to my good food. But is there a spark there? Probably not. So that's two stars for Abby from Joe. She drank as much as he could provide her, and he enjoyed getting his homebrew inside her. The dinners have been eaten, and the dates are done and dusted. Now it's time for Abby to decide which one of our tempting trio she wants to see again. Who will she be taking out for a romantic meal and who will be eating in alone?
today's dinner date is recruitment consultant Abby. She's just finished three days of back-to-back -back blind dates. Now it's time for her to decide who she wants to see for seconds over a romantic meal for two at a top restaurant. Oh, Abby's first date was with personal trainer and wrestler Mike. <laughs> and it was a load of pants. The highlight of the date with Mike was when I tried on his little blue hot pant things. Give me your best angry face. Big <clears> muscles. <throat> Mike didn't really react to me pole dancing much, so didn't seem that bothered. I teach a sexy pole class because I think that's more fun. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably go out with somebody who was that disciplined. At first, I wasn't even going to do chocolate. I was just going to do fruit and yoghurt. But I felt like Mike probably wouldn't be able to switch it off. <mwah> nice to meet you, darling. Thank you. Mike gave Abby one star, but will she want seconds of him? So Abby's next date was with account manager Elliot. It was smooth. Elliot embraced the sombrero, which I was really pleased with. I'm glad he went to the effort of wearing it. Shall I wear it? Yeah. You're of course you've got to wear it. What, all, all night, all day, yeah? Well, until it gets really annoying. I've never been serenaded before, particularly not on a first date when you've just met someone. <laughs> Darling, Mum! This is adorable. No problem at all. Cheers! Chin chin. Had I been sober, I'd have probably thought it was a bit cringe, but I'd had enough to drink by that point that I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> People fall in love in Thank you. Good. There was a bit of a spark with Elliot. Maybe just a little dim spark. It wasn't like a big explosion, but there was something there. Elliot gave Abby two stars, but will she be on his doorstep tonight? Thank you, darling. See you later. Abby's final date was with transport manager and cider maker Joe. Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. Hi, Joe. It Abby. was a bit squiffy. I did enjoy the cider tasting. You know, anyone who's going to provide an endless supply of cider, winner, winner. That's really nice. Of course it is, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> no points. Probably the struggle for conversation. What's your favourite fruit? It's strawberries. Apples, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think the reason that a lot of the chat revolved around apples and cider is because we didn't really have anything else to talk about, so we probably just got the cider theme and ran with it. Are we changing cider for main course? We go dry for the main course, and then yeah. we go sweet to put it in. <laughs> OK, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Joe gave Abby two stars, but will she be back for more of him? Bye-bye. Abby's dinner dates, with the exception of Mike, are getting scrubbed up and ready to go, but only one of them will have romance knock on their door. To be honest, I'm sort of hoping that I'm not chosen. Uh, we didn't really have a huge amount of chemistry, and so I'm a little bit worried if she does choose me, I might disappoint her by saying no. <laughs> she was nice, yeah, definitely. She was uh, nice to talk to. Yeah, really good. Really good girl. I'd like to see her again, to be fair. She was definitely quite... She was all right, yeah. I really would like to be picked because I, I like winning and, I, and I'd like to win this, but I'm not sure she's my cup of tea, so if the microwave mail does arrive, I'll be ringing the boys for a few beers. Abby is on her way to take someone out for a meal they haven't had to cook. The other two will be eating in alone. leaves one man who's cooked his way to a romantic meal for two. Yo, 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 hey, hey how you doing? Hey. OK. Do you want to come out on a date with me? Yeah, of course, yeah, no yeah. worries. We should probably open the door for you. That's all right. Abby and Elliot are off for a candlelit dinner. Why did you pick me then? Was it because of the entertainment or was it good food, good company? So we just got on better. We're more similar than I was to the just other connected people. connected a bit better yeah. than the other people, yeah. Romance might be on the menu for Abby and Elliot, but for Mike and Joe, it's a night in and a ready meal for one. Yeah, thanks, Abby, but no thanks. I am pleased I wasn't chosen. She's a very lovely girl, but uh, not my kind of girl. 
I am relieved I wasn't picked because um, Abby was, she was a lot of fun to be with. But is she the girl for me? Probably not. This will set me up for an evening on the beers with the boys. Nice. Thank you. Wow. So you have the picture. Mmm. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Wasn't expecting it though. No? Really? Actually picking me. I don't think this food's as good as my food though, is it? Going out how cool. Oh you got a tongue for so... The date's going well. I'm happy I picked Alia. There's definitely chemistry. It could blossom into a fancy. We could go that far. <laughs> Yeah, it's going really well. She definitely uh, ticked the box for, for banter and for good looks. Her number is well and truly stored in my contact list, so I might have another date at some point in the future. I'm sure we will. Why not? Yola, you only live once. Were you a naughty girl, like back in school? I bet you were, I bet you were one of those. I wasn't. I had detention once. It's probably a lie. And then I got to 18 oh, and just... Oh. And just blew it. Carried on being well behaved. Tonight is going really well. We've exchanged numbers. Um, Hopeful that he's going to ask to see me again. So watch this space. <laughs> She's got you high and you don't even know. Yeah, the sun's in the sky, it makes for happiness.